Hello guys, welcome back to Moonlight Hill Farm. Today I'm going to be making old-fashioned caramel dipped apples. First you want to take these right here, the caramel crafted um, squares that you get individually wrapped. Stick them in this pan right here and bring it to a boil and keep stirring and you add two cups of water, okay guys? Then you're going to want to when it simmers down after it's all melted you don't want to add the vanilla you want to add two tablespoons of vanilla also guys makes it taste better you want to stir it in after it's done boiling because you'll just cook the vanilla out okay we've got that done I think it's pretty much melted guys I want to add my vanilla in now but I've already put the two tablespoons of water and a whole bag of crafted caramel squares individually wrapped. In, wrapped. Now, let's get, the, get this real I was wrong on that. It's one teaspoon, not two tablespoons. Okay, I just want to put one teaspoon. Mm, stepping on Legos, guys. Give me time. My son's in here playing as we uh, make these. As I make these, they're excited about them. Mmm, that looks so good, guys. We make these every year, every fall, with apple butter and everything. The only thing that sucks is we're having problems finding apples. Because where we get our apples at are at Leslie's Grandma's. And this year, they didn't grow at all. They didn't do too well. So, we we're thinking about skipping this year on apple butter. I'm not for sure. We might end up finding some to buy bushel baskets full. But right now I had to buy store apples. I need to go to the farmer's market and get some apples is what I need to do. Anyways, let me get this off the hot heat so I don't burn all the vanilla out, guys. All right, let's see here. Now we got Legos all over the floor. I keep Ow. stepping on them and it hurts. But anyways, I couldn't find any um, grinded up peanuts. So I just bought a thing of uh, salted uh, Kroger dry, dry roasted peanuts here. And I'm just gonna put them in this grinder and I'm gonna see if it works to grind them up, okay? Let's see here. Let me put y'all over here for a minute. I'll get on there somehow. There we go. Alrighty, they did it. So now we got some grinded up nuts to stick on. I might have done them too much, but hey, it works. It's all good. I want the salted peanuts because I like salty and sweet. Alrighty, now that we got this all and ready. Hang on, I got something in the oven too. Woo! Alrighty. I got these shish kebab sticks here I'm going to use. And... You want to make sure you wash these off really good and make sure if you get them at the store to get the wax off of them I'm just making a couple here just want to stick that in there just like that make sure you get it all the way through too just a little bit and you can break that off so you don't get hurt all right guys I'm gonna we need a paper plate, huh? Can you get that out for me? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, you just dip it in, and twirl it around. Happy birthday! And as you're pulling it out, you want to twist. Twist. And then lay it right over here to dry. Okay? I can never get the top of mine that well. All right. That's how you do it, guys. And then you're going to let that set for a few minutes. I do double dip oak fashion. So I'll stick these in the refrigerator for like 10 minutes, get them back out, dip them again, then put the nuts on. And then that's all you do. But I'll show you that as we go. I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of these apples ready to go. You put them in there for all right, guys, I'm just going to get my apples ready here so we can get it done and over with for the uh, apple sauces. Apple sauce. The caramel sauces. <laughs> Stop swarming up. My wife's messing me up here from being in here trying to cook while we do this for the kids. There, that's a little better. All right, I got three caramel apples. We're going to have four all together, one for all of us. If I make too many of these, we'll eat every one of them, and it's not. <laughs> it's hard to lose weight around here when you make stuff like this all the time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to stick this down in here. Dip it in. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Caramel is a sticky mess, I'm not going to lie. But I've done these every year. I've pretty much got it down packed. Keep twisting, keep twisting. You want to keep... There, sorry, I had to drop it because I got the camera in my hand. Anyway, you just got to keep twisting until the caramel. Then come over here and lay it right on there to stick. Okay? Just like that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of there. Sorry for the loud noise in the background. I have kids and we live in a trailer. It ain't like we live in a big, humongous house. Stick this over here. I was going to do it in a crock pot. Do not do it in a crock pot. I was trying to be, do something different this year. It doesn't get hot fast enough. So I'm hoping I can get some of this caramel at the bottom of this. <laughs> so that's a no no. All right, the next apple. Swirl on the side. You kind of do this fast, guys, because you might turn on the heat a little bit. So we're in the middle of cooking, too, like I said. It's not wanting to twirl with me in the camera. Just like that. Stick it in there. Okay, and then you do this last one here. Dip it in, swirl, swirl, you get the idea. I'm going to stick these in the refrigerator. For a few five to ten minutes to cool off, okay? It's only going to go in there for five minutes. So. Stick them in there for five minutes, bring them back out, dip them again. I'll leave those in there for five minutes and then we'll dip them again. I'll see you here soon. All right, guys, I bought them out of the fridge. They've been in there five minutes. We're going to come back over here. I got one in my hand and dip it again and then hurry up and add nuts as fast as you can. You ready for this? <laughs> All right, we'll put it on this warm stove here and we're going to dip. You ready for this? We're going to dip, dip, dip. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Pull off. Pull over here, grab some nuts over this bowl, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Ow, I'm getting burnt. 
Do not touch the caramel while you're doing it either, guys. <laughs> All righty. And I'm kindly pushing it on there too as I dump it in here. Maybe it's easier to do it like this. There we go. All righty. There's one caramel apple. They're not going to be pretty when they're homemade like the ones in a store, but I'll tell you right now, these are way better. <laughs> way better. There's more caramel on them and everything. All right, you ready for the next one? Now, they could stay in the refrigerator a little longer, and they would not do this right here, guys, but I'm kind of in a hurry this evening. We have stuff to do with the goats outside. i got to give them... Some medication, just because they just got bread. Just dip, 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 swirl. They're all doing fine. Nobody's sick. Just to let everybody know. And then you just sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And then rub it around on them in here. This is the messy part, guys. You can also do... Um, Mm. very good guys salty peanuts are better I got non-salted last year didn't do it justice get salted and crush them yourself think it's a whole lot better alright do this again tip the skillet on its side so you can get more caramel on the sides if you'd like I could have done two bags of caramel. I bought two bags, but I didn't feel like making a bunch of them. Take this. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. You can do chocolate chips. I bought many chocolate chips. but We'll make more before the season's over because they like to give them to their grandparents and stuff. There's that one. And the last one, guys. But you all see the concept of how to do this. See, one bag does pretty much four apples. And the last time you dip it, you're pretty much trying to get as much caramel you can on that apple there. Okay, bring it over here, grab some nuts, sprinkle, sprinkle. And then push, push the nuts on there, okay? like that messy messy mess but I'm gonna tell you what when it gets dry it's killer see that now you can also put um mm, it's so good guys but anyways and stop licking my fingers <laughs> You can also melt some chocolate, drizzle over them, like I said, or you could put chocolate chips in this mix and dip them in, like I was just doing. But there's your caramel apples, old-fashioned dip caramel apples. This is what's left over from one bag of these um, crafted caramel apples here. I mean, caramel bites here, uh, individually wrapped. You can get them at Walmart, Kroger, or wherever. But that's what you're going to need. Shish kebab sticks and some app shish kebab sticks or some type of popsicle stick. And some nuts here. And some apples off your farm like we would be doing. But this year, like I said, our apples didn't do too good. So that is it for now, guys. Until next time, happy, happy farming.